they like the music just like Goodwill does, don't they? Yep. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. I have a confession to make. Do you want to hear my confession? My confession is that I have never been to Savers. I've never been here. Ever in my life have I ever been to Savers. And I'm going to go in tonight. And Mark's going in. Jeffrey and Barb are going in. And it's my first time. And I'm super excited. Here we go. I'm going to cross the threshold for the first time. Here I go. No, we're not sharing. Look at all the bags. Yay. I'm so excited to see. Well, I'm going to look at the Christmas shelf first. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. All right. Oh, here's some Christmas cards. Warm and cozy. I like those colors. See, I don't know where to really go. So we're just kind of looking, aren't we, Mark? Let's see. We're looking for some good vintage. Like, these are vintage. But, you know, I'm, I'm not going to go there. Oh, look, there's a green bowed Santa duck. Green bowed Santa duck. Not the blue bow. But he's got a green bow because he's for Christmas. Oh, look. I wonder if Jeffrey would want this. It's a hula flamingo. I'm sure he will want that. Oh, these are those um, little candle guys. I don't really, I don't do snowmen though. I just do Santa. I'm not a snowman gal, I'm a Santa gal. Oh, here's the little, the little Prixy trinket snow. There's a chocolate bunny for $3.99. I can see what you savers can be a little spendy. I know. You gotta really want it. Here. I don't think I really want that. I so far all I found is this little guy. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a hula flamingo hula dancer there on the other side. <laughs> oh my. Look at his face. He, he is, now he is proud of his fish. I will say that. See, this looks like that Kimple too. Are you? You are a Kimble for $3.99. I don't know that we need a dinosaur though. Oops. There's a little Parmesan cheese guy by that Laura Gates. Oh, Mark, oh, he's got a broken tail. Jeffrey's probably already seen it. Hmm, there's another Kimple. Bear. Jeffrey's already been down this aisle. But sometimes that's fun because we can find things that Jeffrey has missed. Like this doll head. But I don't like the creepy ones. That's not creepy enough for me. I want it to be a little bit creepier. Okay, we're looking at some bags. I've heard all about the Savers bags. And this is my first time being able to experience them. So we've got some glue guns down there. Those are handy. Here we've got Ziggy. Ziggy and a bear. Those are new. a little turtle in there. It's kind of cute. Hmm. Some angels. Misty found me. Oh, here's some Santa. No, I found you. I saw you you moving over here. Oh, you know what? I do believe I just found a Holt Howard Santa. No, it's Norcrest. But still. I'm to find something but I am getting this for $1.99. Yeah, Look at that, how cute he is. Look at that. That's made in Japan. Yes, I think you I gotta get that. Time's up. <laughs> I know. 
Oh, look, there's a baby. You can get her head and her hands. And you can make your own craft. I'm gonna go down the wood aisle. See if we can find some wood things. This looks like a, it is a day her. $3.99 though. That's a little spendy. They like the music just like Goodwill does, don't they? Yep. <laughs> I found a bag of Santas. That's about it so far. Anything good oh, down that? that one that's like laying down. That's laying down? Yeah, $1.99 for that bag of Santas. We got a bag of Santas. Okay, well now we're in to the haul portion of this video. Now, I didn't film a whole lot in Savers because, well, quite honestly, the music was entirely way too loud and it was my first Savers experience. So I kind of wanted to just take it all in. So it was, it was something, you know, <sighs> Savers is more expensive than Goodwill on very many, many things. If you have a Savers and a Salvation Army and a St. Vinny's, and a Goodwill, you you got all kinds of, of choices and I, don't, I just don't have that in my area. So I was excited to go into Savers and just experience it for the first time. There was some funny things that happened in Savers and if you watched the live Friday night, Jeffrey's live sale last Friday, you would have heard the story of how he tested an entire bag of bouncy balls in the store by throwing them on the floor to see if they bounced and they went everywhere. And I wasn't filming at that point because that would have been pretty epic if I was, but I wasn't unfortunately. So let me go ahead and show you what I did get. I'll show you this first thing. This is something that my husband picked up and he paid $2.99 and it's this entire bag of these Disney Infinity pieces. You, you have these little portals that you stick them on if you have this gaming system. And I don't know, he sells these a lot. This is something that he, this is not my, in my wheelhouse at all. He will go through these and lot them together. And we have sold these readily. They've got these little discs and stuff. So that's a nice winter project for him to do. And especially, you know, a lot of gaming things are, are pretty popular right now to purchase, to resell. So that was a pretty good deal actually for $2.99 for that entire bag of Disney Infinity. So he got that. And then I got myself a couple goodie bags on the goodie bag wall, which is pretty epic. I mean, I, I really wish I would have just spent some more time just going through every single bag. You know, I could have done that. If I was by myself and I didn't have anybody telling me to hurry up or they were done, I probably could have went through every single bag just to make sure that I wasn't missing out on any treasures. But I did get this bag for $1.99 and it's full of Santas. We have, and I thought this was Holt Howard when I first saw him, but he's not. It is Norcrest, which Norcrest is about a sec, it's like Holt Howard and then Norcrest and then Lufton. It's kind of in the, my steps of the ones that I really like. But you can see it's a little Santa Claus. It's a little Norcrest bell. Let me see. He ring a ring rings. He's so cute. He's in excellent condition, which is a little surprising because they're all just kind of thrown in this bag together. So there's that one. And then this Santa, he is made in Japan. He's kind of just crawling around there on the floor, which is a little odd. And I don't know what, he's got these cutouts on each side, almost like a handle. So I'm not sure if, I, I don't know. Let me know if you know, what it, does he go to something else? He's just a little ceramic Santa, just crawling around there on the floor. He's got these little side handles on his booty, so I'm not quite sure what that's all about, but he was in the bag. And then this Santa, which really doesn't do much for me, but I, it's just Santa kind of, I think you'd put a little candle, a candle, a candle there. <laughs> and he's like, he's warming his hands which might be, we might be able to do a little craft with this. Maybe we'll see what we can come up with. But I mean, he's kind of cute. He's like a plaster, sort of a plaster Santa. So $1.99 for all three of those Santas. And then I got another little goodie bag here, also for $1.99. And it had, I, the first thing that I saw were these poker chips. I like th that they're in the box. These look really good in a display. You can use them a little bit as a riser so you can stack them like this. And so it has this really neat design on the box and then stack things on top of it. And they are these just like kind of cardboardy poker chips. 
which you could also take the poker chips out if you wanted to and put them in a jar or something. So there's lots of different things that you can do with the box of poker chips. So that in itself for $1.99 was great. And then there were a deck of cards. Now I like to use cards as package toppers. You can put your, uh, you can make a sticker with all of your information on it, your, um, you know, like a business card and, and add that to a vintage card. Sometimes people who have brick and mortar stores will use these cards as price tags themselves. These are made by the Holland American line. So they were like a cruise ship playing cards. So they're just bl uh, bl what color are you? Blue, blue and red. So nothing, nothing fantastic. They're a little bridge. It's a bridge set. Basically. I don't know if there's any value to this. But it was just kind of in this bag. And this was the mystery box that was in this bag because it was just in there like that. And I didn't know what was inside, but inside are these other little tokens and they're all Bakelite. These are all Bakelite little tokens in here. So I'm not quite sure what those are for, but those are fun. Little Bakelite, like for bingo, let's say, like a bingo marker. So that was a good bag for $1.99, I thought. I'm, I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy with that. And then, what else? Oh, I got this. Now I have another one of these at home, so I'm probably going to keep this. I have a taller one, and this is like Legos back in the day. There's like the original Lego, and they were these American plastic bricks by Elgo. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Elgo Classics Incorporated. Um, and I like the graphics on it. The one that I have at home is a little bit taller. So I thought that, you know, having these kind of staggered up on my a cabinet in my house, I just liked it. It was $4.99 and it is actually full of the bricks. Doesn't it would have had a, a metal top to it. Doesn't have the top. And Savers was just so nice to, I'm going to have to like take a hairdryer to get the tape off of beautiful graphics. Savers. I'll put that in my Savers bag. That was my souvenir. That's pretty ridiculous, but that's, that's me in a nutshell. All right. And I also picked up and I, I was telling Jeffrey about these. This was in the toy section and I did talk to Jeffrey. I said, you know, always go and check out the toy section because there's vintage toys in the toy section. Sometimes there's things that don't even belong in the toy section in the toy section. And you can find some cool things. It's just fun to look at. And I always look for sealed puzzles. I do pretty well with sealed puzzles. But this was sitting on the shelf and this is made by Little Tykes. So it's the Little Tykes Cozy Coop. So this was the miniature version. I mean, who had one of these as a child? You know, the little door opens. It's like they made these for full-size children, not just for the dollhouse. But these can do pretty well. And I, I this was $2.99. So I looked it up on eBay and I showed Jeffrey. And these sell for about $25 or so online. So a $2.99 investment. It's really easy to take pictures of. It's really easy to list and ship. It sells for about $25 or so on eBay. So these vintage toys, don't count them out. You know, do a double check and just maybe spend the day. No, don't spend the day in the toy aisle, but spend a little bit of time in the toy aisle and, and, and look up a few things if you're reselling. You might be surprised. So there's that. And then this was in the toy section. Now this is a vintage little roly poly. And there's a collector's market for these. People collect these little guys. It's made by Kitty Products. And it was $2.99. Just a cute little roly poly. I think it's not real vintage. Vintage. It looks vintage. And it'll be cute in a display. Look at him. He's eating a little ice cream cone with his little belly. Yum, yum. So I picked him up. Now, like I said, I have found really cool vintage toys in the toy section. These thrift stores don't know. They're like, oh, it's a toy. Well, we'll put it in the toy section. So just, you know, check out the toy section. All right, I also got, I didn't get really a whole lot in like the, on the regular shelves. What did I even spend at U-Savers? I spent $24.83 at Savers on everything that I'm showing you. This was $2.99, and I'll be darned if I find these and I never find them complete. And this one was complete. It's got the salt, pepper, and it's got cinnamon and paprika. But it had the salt and the pepper, which was what I was looking forward to. And I, I've got another one that's incomplete, so I don't know. I got it for $2.99. I kind of just wanted to find something vintage. And it, it has a nice rack on it. It does hang on the wall. It's got roosters on it. It's definitely something that I will be selling in a live sale. 
And the last two things that I got are really pretty simple, honestly. They're these vintage towels. Now, let me just tell you, there is nothing in the world like a good vintage hand towel, either a bathroom towel or a kitchen cloth. Now, I'm not the person, I like the look of a tea towel, but I don't like the use of a tea towel. But these vintage towels from the 60s, 70s, and 80s are the best. They are the best. And I like this green one. It was $1.99. Now, at Goodwill, these would have been 99 cents, at least at my Goodwill. So I did pay up for it. It was $1.99. Where is the tag? The inside tag. I, don't, I didn't know if it had a, a, a name, but this is going to be hung in my bathroom for the holidays. I love these towels. They just absorb so nice. And then this one is a newer towel, but I just had to get it. And you'll see why. It was also $1.99. It's a Christmas towel. And it says, eat, drink, and be tacky. Oh, yes, we shall. We shall eat, we shall drink, and we shall forever be tacky. So I had to kind of get that. So that's going to, I'm keeping both of these towels that are going to hang. Well, one's going to hang in my kitchen, one's going to hang in my bathroom for the holidays. But, you know, that was my small, very small, teeny, teeny, tiny savers haul. It was fun. It was savers. <laughs> But I got to experience it, and I got to go with Jeffrey and Barb and Mark, and we just had a grand time. And, I mean, I would go back to Savers if I have the opportunity to. It's not something that I would not go to. It's a thrift store. I'm going to check it out. But, um, you know, it was fun. It was more expensive than Goodwill on some things. But the goodie bags at Goodwill are $2.99, and at Savers they were $1.99. So, you know, they're pretty even. I have, I think in, in the grand scheme of things are pretty even, but thank you so much for going shopping with me and watching this haul video. Make sure that you do, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a comment and make sure that you're subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.